made the Avengers movies is going to do the Batgirl movie, which I part of me is excited because we got get to see and uh, since I mean I'm excited to see Batgirl uh, kick some butts, stretch those glutes in those people's faces. Karate chopping, break those bones, you know, and don't trust me. And it'll be awesome to see, like, a cameo of Nightwing, and maybe Tim Drake Batman, or, uh, Tim Drake Robin, or maybe see, uh, Ben Affleck as Batman again in here. Even if he was Bruce Wayne, I'll be, I'll be fine with that. And I'll be fine if we just got to see either like Dick Grayson or Tim Drake or Bruce Wayne make a cameo in the Batgirl movie. But it'd still be cool to see one of those three suit up to team up with Batgirl in this movie. Preferably Dick of uh, the Nightwing because you know we gotta see both Barbara Gordon and Dick Grayson in the Batman and Robin movie which to be honest could could have been better representations of them especially Batgirl like yeah seriously a Batgirl cuz just cuz I don't want to go into detail why I think there could be a better representation of Batgirl and Batman and Robin. But anyways, yeah, and we all know, we all seen that, uh, that outfit, the Robin outfit that has the Joker graffiti in Batman vs. Superman. If you're a comic book fan, or at least a Batman fan like I am, then you know that, uh, Dick Grayson is the very first Robin, and then after that is Jason Todd. And if I remember correctly, Bruce Wayne adopted. I know he adopted Dick Grayson, but I think he also adopted uh, Jason Todd, and that was the last Robin he had adopted. And Jason Todd got killed by the Joker, and. Apparently he comes back as a Red Hood in the comic books, and then in the Arkham Knight game, Jason Todd comes back as the Arkham Knight. And if you play that DLC level, the Red Hood as well. And, uh, I honestly, now I said something, I also want to see a Red Hood movie, because, like, why not? But, like I said, I... I'm excited to see a Batgirl movie, and those of you who don't know who Batgirl is, especially if you've seen Batman and Robin, was in my opinion, not a very good representation of Batgirl. Barb uh, Barbara Gordon is James Gordon's daughter, who becomes Batgirl, who then, after she gets paralyzed by the Joker, becomes Oracle. Pretty much, who is the AI for Batman, Robin, and Nightwing, and Night Bat, Batwing, or, cause, also, Lucius Fox has a son who becomes one of Batman's sidekicks, I forgot his name too, I'm trying to reference him, but then, in the Batman Beyond cartoon, and in the Lego Batman movie, he, Barbara Gordon becomes the next Commissioner Gordon. But yeah, in this version, Barbara Gordon is Batgirl. And I am honestly excited to see her. Like I said, I'm just excited to see uh, Batgirl as uh, having her own movie on the big screen. Preferably, maybe... Like, have her make a cameo in the Batman movie with, or, you know, with uh, Ben Affleck and this mask on it, sorry. And then, if 
That way we get to have a like introduction to Batgirl and then okay let's make a Batgirl movie. This is gonna be you know what I mean, like have Batgirl introduced in the Batman movie and then kind of then have her be in her own movie. But still have either like Nightwing, Robin or Batman make a cameo in there. And at least have one scene where they kick butt together. Just saying. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of Batgirl having her own movie? How would you have... What would, what would you have... What is your perfect Batgirl movie? And if there is one D DC comic hero that you could have a movie to, what could it be? Leave a comment below, and remember, if you could be yourself, be yourself, unless you, you can be Batman, always be Batman, or Batgirl, or Batwoman, who knows, maybe you like that thing, I don't know, don't trust, don't, 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 don't trust me.